In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. That the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 1, verses 1 through to 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. And there was a man sent from God, whose name was John. This man came to witness, to bear witness of the light, that all through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was a true light, which gives light to every man coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, he who were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor the will of the men, but of God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love, Help us in the understanding of your words, your teachings. Help us to be true and faithful followers of yours. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we behold his glory, the glory as of, only, of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. The Word, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is. John the Baptist bore witness. Yes, as I said, he was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light which gives light to every man coming into the world. We are called to follow that light, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Jesus, in the beginning, was the Word, Jesus. And the Word was with him, with God. And the Word was God, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is God. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. We live in a dark world, full of darkness, 
full of hate. We as Christians follow the light, the Son of God, Jesus Christ. As we progress through this great Lenten fast, let us look within ourselves. Let us see how we follow Christ and his teachings, how we obey him and show the light to the world as Christians, not as men of darkness, but men as men of the light. Yes, Jesus Christ is the light. Jesus Christ is God, the Son of God. I urge you all to make most of this now time we are in. Yes, prayer and fasting. Contemplation. Yes, contemplation of where we are in this world. Give God the glory every day when you pray. Thank him for the opportunities he gives you to do this in following the Son of God, the light of the world. Glory to you, O God, and may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen. <laughs>